Hello everyone and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4 in our One Night in Paris campaign as England. So in the previous episode, we went to war with France and we took Santillon and Argmanac from them. And uh, it was an excellent war. And so now we're going to finish up conquering Ireland, incorporate Leinster into our kingdom. And from there on out, I think we're just going to wait for some of these truces so that we can attack France again in the future as well. Scotland. I want to vassalize Scotland one of these days. We took uh, these little Western Isles from Scotland, so it wasn't that big of a big of a gain, but the aggressive expansion was a bit on the edge, so we had to be cautious with it. Let's go there. Let's garrison Santillon. So let's see. To take all of this, it's going to be what? 27 war score. We might get some aggressive expansion. I'm not sure. I don't know if anybody cares about Ireland. All right, so we're making some good money now. We're making pretty good money. Let's see. Let's keep the Navy over here in the Dingle Bay. That's not so weird. <laughs> Dingle Bay. You know what I would like to do is attack Brittany one of these days, but we have to let some of this aggressive expansion burn off for a little while. Really? They're allied with Scotland. I did not know that. Wow. That's interesting. Hmm. I can't do anything to Scotland, though. I don't even have a mission to... Um... Damn. I wonder if I can get that mission to vassalize Scotland. I don't know. I could try it. Because that'd be really nice, actually. Hmm. We're eight years ahead on tech. I think taking this is going to be good. That's that's fifteen percent morale from that military drill. That's that is excellent. That is absolutely excellent right there. Let's see what's up with these guys. So these are transports. So let's send them here. These should be barks that's right so let's go to the irish sea let's send them to protect some trade um you know what i could do is i could tell scotland to transfer trade power to me hmm. actually you know what i kind of like the idea of that Yeah, I can attack this guy. Tell this guy to transfer trade power to me because he'll join the war. Uh, we lost a advisor. Let's see. We're making really good money, really good manpower now. Where's a fort here? It's just in Connacht. Okay. Alrighty, so let's invade here. Right, and then Scotland's going to join here, so we can just, yeah, take Lothian once again. Right, yep, that's what I thought it was going to be. We need blockades, let's split. Let's go to Dingle Bay, and then the Firth of Fourth. What? Firth of Fourth, yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what that is. I don't know who calls a sea zone by that by that name. Uh, let's see. They're gonna take care of that. Okay, Cumbria got occupied. Already destroyed. Alrighty, things look pretty good. We're about to finish up the occupation here. We can finish more up with Scotland. Maybe tell them to transfer trade power to me or something of the like. Don't really know yet. I don't know what you're doing, Scotland. I don't know what's up with you, man, but you got some problems. You don't know how to handle your kingdom. Constrict a grand fleet. Alrighty, so I guess these guys are still going at it. it. Looks like France has recovered a little bit. They're over here, I think. Um, huh. Interesting. Let's finish up with Scotland before anything else. So 
So this truce is going to be extended with, with Scotland, which is a shame. But I think, I think that'll be all right. At the end of the day, France is our immediate target. Yep, give me more reps. Get rid of your damn claims. Give me your trade power. Yes, get rid of your... You not give me money, huh? Crossing's gonna be a bitch, but that's all right. The Scottish will not be able to resist my wrath. Still no stack wipe yet. They're just like bouncing around. Jesus. Okay, Scotland. Uh, so what do you give me, Scotland? Give up claims, war reps. Whoa, I don't know what the hell that was. Sorry if you guys heard that. I don't know what the hell that was. 10% reps. That's for Scotland. That's fine. Oh, yeah, that's right. Huh? And then we fully occupied this guy. So we're going to give all of this to Leinster. Not a lot of development, so there shouldn't be any aggressive expansion. Uh, France, Burgundy, and Brittany. Oh, that's actually got a lot. I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't have a choice, though, so let's do it. That's, that's a lot of aggressive expansion, though. We should be cautious. Now we really should be cautious. That's kind of a lot. It's 50, yeah. It's 50. Brittany is also let's see can we can we prove relations with these guys get that down a bit hmm. coalition war would be the worst thing to happen right now right when we're on top start incorporating this guy I need some more diplomatic reputation would be nice. When's that going to be done? In 1486. Damn, 13 years of annexation, huh? Not bad. So from what I can see, everything's good so far. Let's get some more money. All right, we still got some left over too, huh? Not bad at all. Uh, I definitely want to get some shipyards at some point or another. How's the force limit? 36 still. Nice. Brittany made some made some gains here, so they're they're gonna be a target. So far we're doing alright. We're doing pretty good. Scotland is uh essentially subordinate to us now. We'd have to force vassalize these guys for sure. Um, with with that vassalize, cast this belly, the subjugation, it makes it a lot easier. We'll have to get that at some point. We'll have to... I want to save my points. Prestige is getting hit pretty hard. I never get a lot of prestige anymore. These are five years ahead. Okay, so now we're really just going to be waiting for a little while. Um, until, until some truces are up, Sweden, France, hmm. yeah, I want that mission to attack Scotland, we're gonna incorporate Leinster, we are waiting for that as well, we're waiting for the incorporation of Leinster, Portugal declared on Morocco, so we're gonna own all of Ireland, a lot of France, if we were to take Brittany, we would have about a third of France or so, maybe, maybe a quarter. Burgundy is getting big. Burgundy is a problem. 
Let's go on speed five. We'll definitely have to go on speed five. Let's see. We're getting some more technology here. Hurry to go to uh, let's see. Who else do we have to consider? Austria just, or Venice just rivaled Austria. Hmm. General David Howe just died. It's a shame. He was a great man. Nice. Making some more money. You are making really good income now, even with the army at full maintenance. Jesus. Do I want to take this idea? I don't think so, because we're only four years away. We've definitely caught up on points now. This this king is a god. We just got to claim a potoir. I want one on Ellen Cohn, to be honest. Ferrar, the people state, and go Ray. Hmm. Yeah, France is still... There's still someone to trifle with. you got to be careful. Renaissance Prince. We will support the Renaissance. Yes, we will. Twenty-two percent annexation on Leinster. All right, so fourteen seventy-six. Let's see, spy network. Portugal came in handy, didn't they? Yeah, they did. They're attacking into Morocco. Looks like things are going okay over there. How's Aragon? If Castile gets the uh, personal union on Aragon, that'd be awesome. Hungary is still for some reason independent, which is not good. They show the second Hunyadi. Still 20 years ahead on that. Austria has hired some Condottieri from Switzerland. We can maybe get some more cavalry now, although still, I think we've been doing okay with the inventory. We haven't had a lot of problems. Burgundy. Hmm. Attacking Burgundy would be interesting. Brittany and Utrecht. That's the rain. We gotta be patient, though. We gotta be patient. Patience is key. Rome was not built in a day. It's interesting. I've been seeing Brandenburg form pressure a lot more often now. Even though I know Poland is... Pretty big most of the time. I've seen some interesting stuff. Poland. Yeah, let's see here. We get artillery. That's got to be really nice. Mm. I definitely, I might be able to use some of the extra force limit for artillery after this. Yeah, for sure. After this. Um, Let's see. We're getting some... Ooh, technology cost. I love that. Yeah, bribe the MP. That's fine. That's fine with me. It's the way elections work everywhere now, isn't it? So, let's see. What else are we waiting on now? Colonial range plus 115. Ooh, that's nice. You know what I also realized? Damn, we're actually... Yeah, we're almost out of range here. I would like to attack Denmark for some of this. Or some of that up there. That would be kick ass. That'd be so cool. It's November 1478. In 1479, we can get some of these some of these texts here. This is this is a, an incredible bonus, actually. January. What are we waiting on? Neighbor bonus. I don't think it updated yet. Yep, there we go. Okay, so let's think about this. Is what's our next idea? Right? So we can go for either this here, especially exploration something to consider or we go for something over here i usually go with influence because of the aggressive expansion impact and so i'm going to pick influence that's what i'm going to do um we're now that we're caught up on admin we might be able to switch to um either back to military or just go to diplo for now though you know we're 13 years ahead so we we definitely need to punch out some of these idea groups that's our most immediate goal right now Get some good money. Don't 
production. This is local manpower modifier. Manpower is always nice. Manpower is actually a pretty big hindrance for a lot of the game. You don't have a lot of manpower, which which will suck. Oh, we have inflation, I think. All right. Yeah, we, we definitely need to get some manpower going. Any disputes to session labeled the eighth? Austria? Is the emperor? Very nice. I could reduce army maintenance. Get some you get even more money for some development. Um I can get some artillery now. Artillery is always good. Cool. Alright, how's the aggressive expansion looking? It's coming down. Shit, it's gonna take a while though. Let's see, do I have any better advisors? Trade efficiency? No. Can I check here? Is a theologian? Is an inquisitor? Don't have enough influence. Hmm. The Highlands into a state. Let's see. Okay, so, you know, we've made good progress. Although, like I said, the aggressive expansion, it's going to take some time for this to burn off. France is not easily going to be appeased. They're, they're pissed. So, we I don't know how long we're going to be appeased for. We should keep that in mind. We're halfway done with this annexation. I think it's another six years. Portugal's doing stuff. Norway or Denmark just went to war with hella people. Okay. Very interesting. In the meantime, we do need to develop most of our country. We need barracks just about everywhere. Venice and France just allied with each other. Cardinal in the administration. Yeah, why not? That's fine. Let's see. 13, wow, 13 ducats a month. Very beautiful. Hmm. Okay, and right now we're at a 35,000. Austria needs military access. I will say yes. Okay, so we have some military ideas. Looks like land leader maneuver. That's always nice. We don't even have any generals right now, so that's that's good that we can make use of that. Influence is always nice. Always. Influence is so good. Let's see. What tech level are we at? We're at 7. Once we get to 10, we can we can form um, Great Britain, which is nice. Although we still need to take Paris at some time or another. One of these days. Um, you know what would be cool is if we did like a... If we took most of the north and then just in the south we made it to some sort of like Vichy France client state that'd be kind of cool <laughs> yeah although technically to win the achievement one night in paris you only need to take paris that's it right so we'll i'll, I'll try and flesh it out as much as i can but it's not hard to, to just take those two provinces and that's that damn it i don't like to lose admin i like diplo over admin any day should we change our national focus maybe maybe i don't know if it's necessary at this point we probably will just because we don't have an admin idea group, right? We're caught up now. Um, military is also nice. Military will stay where it's at. Mm. In fact, arguably military is more important. Mm. Something to consider. Let's see. I know we're going a little fast, but it's just because there's not a lot to do just yet. We gotta wait for some of this aggressive expansion to burn off. We gotta wait for these truces as well. Brittany is always a nice target, but Burgundy is gonna be a bitch. I'm actually really surprised that Burgundy's been fairly stable. That usually does not happen very often. Austria is nice and strong. Hungary is as well. They never got the Union though, which is a shame. I could have used that. Hmm. Alrighty. Burgers or clergy? I'll go with the burgers. Clergy are... 
Ooh, truce with France is over. Really? Castile wants a handout. Austria won't do it. Portugal will. Hmm. Aggressive expansion doesn't make much of a difference. Right? I need I need to wait for that to, to burn off. So I can't really attack him realistically. I can't do it. Get some good manpower. We're actually at the cap right now. This game has been on three years, and still, when you disband troops, you don't get the manpower back, which is, which is still weird, <laughs> right? I mean, we've been dealing with that for for three years, right? This game came out in 2013, I think. Yeah, it should have, and and still, when you disband troops, they just like disappear, right? They don't go back to your, then they they don't go back to uh, your manpower pool. That's that's funny, that's funny. That's that. It almost seems like a running gag in Paradox now, doesn't it? Ooh, better relations over time. Yearly Prestige, Reinforce Speed, I think we, ooh, that's actually nice, hmm. he's only, how old is he, 42 years old, how old is this guy, he's 52, hmm, 52 is the new 42, better relations over time is going to be awesome, it's going to help this burn off, 2.5 per year, damn, that sucks, uh, does influence help out with that, hmm, not really, does help out with unjustified demands, annexation, and aggressive expansion, though. That's that's pretty nice. You don't you don't see that everywhere. Once we get this here, fifteen percent national tax modifier. That'll be beautiful. Hmm. Trade efficiency. Let's see. We're doing good. Uh, armor tradition is actually really good. Wow, I'm surprised. Reinforce speed. Let's get the reinforce speed. I love reinforce speed, to be honest. Being able to reinforce your men once you have, like, full manpower. You know, I think it's underestimated, to be honest. Um, it's not just about your, your armies themselves. It's about putting men in the field. Siena is part of the Holy Roman Empire. Did, did we get the um, Shadow Kingdom event? No, we did not. Okay. Huh. Denmark. Corporate Leinster. We're going to finish this mission real soon. The diplomatic reputation is going to be awesome. You know what we could do is attack France again and just get them to release a bunch of people. They just allied the Pope. Provence belongs to the Pope now. To the Pope man. Ooh, admin. Oh shit, we're gonna be kept on admin real soon. Uh oh. That should be good. Um, I usually don't go below about four hundred or so when I'm when I'm close to the cap. Let's see. Another good question is, do we have autonomy? Only in Saint-Tion. It's at 37. Because I raised it. So we don't, we don't even have autonomy anywhere. Wow. That's incredible. Truce with Scotland is now over. Scotland's not transferring trade power anymore. They're actually uh, rivaled. They actually just um, embargoed me or something. Okay, so we're about to annex Leinster. There we go. It's over. Integration process is over. So now what we can do... Damn it. It doesn't give me the mission to conquer to conquer uh, Scotland. I'm not going to lie. It'd be nice to have that mission right now. We're over the force limit. That's okay. We're over the force limit here. Let's go ahead and just disband those troops. We can get some arty. Incorporated. I don't think we need this fort anymore. Let's see. Do we have any light trade ships anywhere? What's this? Oh, yeah. That belonged to our vassal. Okay, so we're good there. Scotland. Size of Scotland, local trade power, development, base. Oh, they've been developing. Shit, that's not good. Hmm. How much development do we have now? We have 429 development. Wow, that's that's pretty good. 
We have overseas cores. Really? Where? Hmm. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but okay. I think, I think they're talking about the, the land that we have in France. I'm not sure though. Secrets in our alliance. I usually just spend the Diplo if I can afford it. National tax modifier is going to be good. How is... We're four years ahead. So we might not be able to get these techs here. Let's change our national focus to Diplo for sure. Because I think what I might do is I might go for influence, take a military idea, and then maybe go for some um, colonization after that. So that'll be nice. Conquer Portois. Can I attack France again? I could. Gilbray won't join. Venice would. Papal State and Ferrara would. It's a little less certain of a victory, I think. Aggressive expansion is also still pretty damn high. But I have the power to defeat them for sure. It'd be a pretty, pretty lopsided victory, I feel. Hmm. Damn it, Scotland. Give me the mission for this, man. How's the Pope feel about us? Does he like us? Sort of. Let's do this mission real fast. Get relations with the Pope better. Um... Damn, 25 prestige? Yeah, I guess. We could take it. Having high aggressive expansion does improve our... Or high prestige. Excuse me, improves our aggressive expansion impact. Um, so that's kind of a shame, but I think we'll be okay. Let's go for advisor costs. Hmm. Can't upgrade ships. Let's get more barrackses. Kingdom of Wales. Fort maintenance and fort defense. Damn, that is nice. That is nice, isn't it? We just lost our claim on Artois. But I don't think I would have attacked Burgundy anyway. Um, It's a possibility, though. Scotland still not have any friends. They don't have any friends. Wow. Okay, alrighty. Well, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and take a break here, guys. Um, I would say this campaign's going pretty good. Probably the next few steps that we're going to do is definitely build up our military, and then hopefully I can take some of Brittany, and then one time comes, we'll just take just take Ellen Cohn and Paris, and, uh, you know, that would satisfy the achievement, and we'd get it. So, um, I don't know how long this campaign will be, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a break here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.